sorry, I have the free version of this program, so it limits me to 10 minute videos. Anyway, as I was saying, the concentration of X is going to be the concentration of H plus. See that? X is H plus. We have enough information to solve for the concentration of H plus, therefore X, because we know the pH, okay? If we take 10 to the negative pH, we're given the, right here, the concentration of H plus. If you don't know how to do that, it's because you copied answers from the internet yesterday. However, since I'm a nice teacher, if you need help with that, email me, please. So anyway, with sig figs, don't forget pH, there's two digits after the decimal point, so we need two sig figs, so they rounded to 4.3 times 10 to the negative 3. That is your H plus, and it's your X. Now you know the concentration of the uh, conjugate base as well, or this, all right? And you can find the concentration of your formic acid. You can plug in all your numbers, and you can solve for Ka. Beautiful. Now, let's do one where you use Ka to solve for pH, like the problem that I did, or that I explained on the board. Hang on. So here is our problem. What's the pH of a 0 0.005 solution of acetic acid, Ka is 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. You'll notice this time I give you Ka and I ask for pH, all right? So make your ice table. Here it is. Our initial concentration of the acetic acid is there. We don't have any product to start. Our X's, you should know. The, the reactant goes down, the products go up. Remember the arrows here in our reaction. We put this in water and it donates the H. Okay, there's the H and there's what's left. And we don't need water because its concentration is 1. Okay, then if you write your Ka expression, okay, Pro or products of reactants, plug in your X's. Now, you have Ka, so you should be able to solve for X. You would need to use the quadratic, but Ka is small, so we're going to use the assumption that this X is really small compared to the 0.05, so we leave it out, plug in our numbers, you solve. X is 9.5 times 10 to the negative 4, so the pH is a negative log of 9.5 times 10 to the negative 4 because, remember, X is the H plus concentration, right? See, X is the H plus concentration. Here's X, here's H plus. Remember, H plus and H2O plus are the same. You end up with a pH of 3.02. Now, you have to solve some of these problems for yourself. Watch this video as many times as you need to. Don't you dare come to class on Thursday and not know how to do this. If you don't understand it at this point and you watch this video again and still don't, you need to email me and email me and email me until you do understand. Watch the Khan Academy video. I didn't watch it myself, but I assume it's a good one as well. So now you're going to do a worksheet. Find the answers online just like you did the other day, but make sure you do the problems and check your work with the answers. Don't waste your time copying them because I'm, I'm not going to collect them as homework, but you are going to have a quiz over this extremely soon. So email me, text me with questions, please. Have a good day. If I don't start throwing up, I will see you on Thursday.